Diablo series are one of my favorite games of all time. I grew up with them and they'll always have a special place in my heart. Since it's Diablo's 20th anniversary, I decided to honor the game my way. I'm your host Dom the Big D, and today the D stands for Diablo, of course. So I've been browsing my Steam library looking for games to play, and one thing caught my attention. There was a Diablo 3 UI mod under my Torchlight 2 popular mods section. I took a look at it, and it looked really cool. And then I thought to myself, why not try turning my Torchlight 2 into a Diablo game? So I went deeper into Steam Workshop, then picked my mods carefully, because Torchlight has 10 mods limit. I had to pick only the best ones. I noticed there were a lot of UI mods, most likely because they are quite easy to make, but a lot of them didn't look really good or didn't look much like Diablo. So I went with Diablo 3 UI mod because I liked it the best. Then I looked for some audio mods because Diablo's soundtrack is very important part of the game, it's very memorable, and of course there was mods like that. One of them required to download some files from external sites, not only from Steam Workshop, and I also downloaded another mod which was only for sound effects, which also added a lot to the game. Then I installed a font mod of Diablo's iconic font and a blood mod because I felt like Torchlight isn't as blood and gory like the old Diablo games. Then I found quite an interesting little mod called Minimalistic Loot Borders which made the Torchlight's round edged loot borders look more like the old ones from Diablo. Next up, pets. So, Diablo doesn't have any pets really, so nothing iconic here, but I managed to find a treasure goblin pet, which I really liked. It looked goofy, but it fitted into the team. Then it was time to find some interesting class mods. There are a lot of them in Torchlight, but we needed to find something that resembles D Diablo games and probably the most iconic class in Diablo is the Paladin and we found exactly that. The mod seemed like a really well made one, it had all the skill icons and all three skill trees like this Barbarian class mod, which looks a bit weird to me. There was also this big mod called Project Diablo, which recreated the original towns from Diablo 2 in Torchlight 2. But the mod is still work in progress, so it only has towns for first two acts, so Rogue Encampment and uh, Loot Galen, I think it was called. It replaces the first two act towns from Torchlight. So I tested my game if all the mods work as intended, but I felt like something was missing. The game still looked very cartoony, very colorful, unlike Diablo games. So I looked for a way how to make it look darker. And I found this interesting mod. It's a retexture mod, but it wasn't finished yet. So I managed to find another mod, which adds a filter to the game, which is supposed to make game look less colorful, 
more dark, but it was a bit more difficult to install than the ones on Steam, but I didn't have much problem. And then it was the moment of truth. It was time to launch the game with all those mods and see if it works and if it looks like anything like Diablo at all. And it did. All the sound effects and the soundtrack instantly brought me back good old memories from Diablo 2 times and surprisingly it they fit into Torchlight to really well. Also, the filter is doing wonders to the game. Just look at how gritty it looks. And the UI looks like it was here all the time. It's really easy to get used to and and it's it's really weird to switch back, actually, to the original Torchlight UI. I think Diablo 3 UI is even better than the original one. I don't know which mod exactly made me able to put armor on my pet. And there's one thing that annoyed me a bit. And I also don't know which mod did that, but you can see there is a, a health bar uh, in the middle of the screen over my character's head. And it really looks out of place when you try to zoom in. I also have to mention that the filter affects whole screen, not only the game. So the UI it uh, looks a bit uh, different than it's supposed to. I need your help. You have a... Now that I have entered a dungeon, I have a little task for you. I bet you all did this in Kindergarten. I'm gonna uh, put Diablo 3 games footage right next to the this torchlight and you'll have to find 10 differences. Good luck. Well, did you find a new? Me neither. <laughs> and well, just look at this scene and tell me it doesn't look like something straight out of Diablo. And now it's time to check out the how does the old Diablo towns look like. The first time I entered this place I was shocked. It's amazing how accurately it's remade. Everyone was just in the right places. Everything looked the same as 15 or more years ago in Diablo 2. I couldn't believe what I saw. Unfortunately the mod is still work in progress so we only have two towns and some bugs. One for example is that if you exit the game while in town, you just spawn in emptiness when you turn the game back on, so better not do that, or just wait till the mod gets finished. And now for the big finale, 
let's see how much different this is from the original torchlight. I consider I really reached my goal, and if you want to try this yourself, I'll leave links to all the mods in the description. Goodbye, and have fun slaying those demons!